Hey guys, what's going on? It's Masters Weekly. Another delicious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 95, Nevos. How's that for an intro, mate? That's one of the best intros we've seen. Well, it's probably perfect because I wanted to show you. Yeah, yeah. Get up in there, get up in there. Wait, which other? Get up in there, so you, get up in there. You, no, it's growing out a little bit. But get up in there. It's this side here. Get up in but there. But the Macleaneve is coming back. It is. I'm, the, I'm Mac decided, the John Cena V2 is making a reappearance. I've decided to... Bring yeah. it back. So the, the fringe needs to go back a bit. Yeah, yeah. So it can be pushed over to the side and I can... I like it. You, you, you're, looking, you, you're looking phenomenal at the moment. Phenomenal. I'd leave the hat off, to be honest. That's why I took it off in the intro. No, I'm more like a suave aceto. Ah, f You should have used some line. I, I keep the tub in the yeah, bathroom here at MJ. I know, I took it home last weekend. Anyway, topics of discussion. <laughs> back in stock, new products coming soon, monthly specials. How to make gains during football season and ask me. We got a jam-packed episode of Weekly Word for uh, the viewers at home today because we haven't done one for a couple of weeks. In fact, it's probably, I think it's been like two and a half weeks, which is why we're shooting this on a Monday when we usually shoot it on like a Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, what happened? We is, got we got we got to communicate stuff to the people, man. What happened the was people. like two weeks ago we got stuffed up with the recording and obviously we we're doing it like Friday. So by the time it's gone up, I wasn't going up to a Monday. Yeah, was and then. I thought we were going to shoot again on the Thursday. We're just, we're, just, we're just trying to get the timing right, to be honest, with the viewers. And we're still, we're still f***ed. And, like, we're coming up to episode 100. So, um... It's, What's today? It's, <laughs> we're almost 100 episodes deep and still haven't got the timing right. But, uh, but f by the time we get to 100, it'll be on point. <coughs> yep. First topic of discussion, Nick. Did you just show them? Alright, back, back in stock. Before you get into it, big dog. <laughs> Did you f*** up my hat still? I don't know. My hair is looking shit at the moment. I need to go see Robbie, but Robbie's on holidays. He is. Do you know when he gets back? Well, that's a bit tight. No. Ow! You gotta go four. You go four. You go four clips. You got five clips Pull in that. Hair. You got no. too many clips, man. I just like my hair. Too many clips. I just get my hair. Four pulled. clips you need. My hair. Pulled. Not five. Yeah. Four. No, I got three. <laughs> three off. The three. Your head's too small for three. No, anyway, I need to see Robbie. Robbie, when are you coming back, brother? Look at this shit. I'm supposed to shoot videos with this shit? This is f***ed. You know what? I'm just like... Okay, so the thing is, is you know how tattoos are the big rage at the moment? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm f***ing bringing piercings back. You are. So, I've got this bit here. See this bit here? On yeah, yeah, here? yeah we can see it. Here, we can see that shit. And this bit here pierced, and I've got this yeah. one here, and then up the top here pierced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get my nose done. What's next, mate? My nose. What's oh, after the nose? Probably my ball bag. <laughs> first, <laughs> first topic of discussion with me. Legit, nose is happening. This <laughs> so stay tuned. Next all right, episode. all right, all right. Because I can't, obviously... First topic of discussion, me! <clears throat> if I shave my head, I actually get fired from Massive Joe's. Too much bullshit going on this episode. But if I get my nose pierced, there's nothing in my pi there's nothing in my contract about piercings. All right, back, back in, in stock. stock. <coughs> I got something in my throat. Five. <coughs> Five percent nutrition. Mm. Full of all flavors. Yes. All day you may all flavors. Yes. Three ten all flavors. Yes. Killer all flavors. And if you can't tell, we got a uh, big shipment of five percent in last week. Yeah. So everything is back in stock, except actually, Nib, we should address this. Uh, 5150, yeah. also known as 5150, are yeah. uh, out of stock at the moment because they went and added Yohimbine to the formula and, didn't, and tell didn't tell us. So we went to go order it, seen the customs declaration come through with Yohimbine, and we're like, can't have that in Australia, unfortunately. Got to reformulate, take that shit back out. So 5150 in Australia and New Zealand is off the menu for the time being. Yeah. Uh, but for those that do like the uh, the big hitting pre workout, the high stimulants, GAT Nitroflex back in stock in all flavors. Boom. Uh, ATP Science Ant V back in stock. Boom. Which but, also means. Which also means uh, with the monthly special. Oh, we'll get to that. It's down there. Oh, it's down here. Okay. Uh, uh, Valos uh, Triangle Ant back in stock. Yeah. Yeah. But but stay tuned for the month. Yeah, yeah stay tuned, stay tuned. Uh, Platinum Labs Awaken Trouble Candy in American Summer. Mm-hmm. So Awaken obviously back in stock, which means that the. 
monthly special, which we'll get to later on down the bottom, is back in stock. Also back in stock, yep, yep, yep. Uh, Blackstone Labs Trojan Horse. Yes. Which is a fat, uh, sorry, fat free. Stim free fat loss product by Blackstone Labs. I need to do a, um, a raw review on that. Yeah. I, I, and I will, I will soon. In the next couple of weeks, I'll do a raw review on it because it's quite an interesting uh, stimulant free fat loss supplement. <laughs> I just need to do some business. Do you got a pen? What are you doing? That's all right. I want to do some bit of, just I need to circle that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Use that. What are you doing? Don't worry. All right. Uh, all right, all right. I, I guess we'll come back to that one. No, later. it's not. It's for me to remember afterwards. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. If you look at what company it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Arms, yeah. We're going to have some specials coming up then. Oh, maybe. really? Nice, nice. Um, all right, so international protein, all products and flavors back in stock. Yeah. So three. Uh, three different proteins that we serve uh, supply from them. Yeah, all the stuff from International Protein. Synergy 5, Amino Charge and Extreme Mass are yes. all back in stock. Yep. Uh, That's some apparel, Big Neve. So TMJ Zip Up Jackets, black, all sizes back in stock. Yes, sir. TMJ Sleeveless Hoodies, all sizes back in That's stock. That's one of your favourite pieces. It is. The sleeve, because you get the guns out and the big and pipes and the hood. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's a knee it's a knee movement original. What is it? I, I call it the knee signature series. We should have called it the Assassin's Creed. We probably should have. Like Assassin's Creed. We it? probably should have. Did you like Assassin's Creed? I don't know what the f you're talking okay. about. Okay. No worries. Do you know what movie I watched on the weekend? It was f Blood and Bone. Yeah, I watched. Is it Blood and Bone or Blood and Guts? Don't know. The anyway. fighting movie. Put it in the comment section. I think it's Blood and Bone. Keep going. Uh, what did you watch? Uh, did you finish the Sleeveless topic, hoodies are very popular with the ladies as well, if uh, you ladies are watching. They are in the small size, in yeah. the small and the extra small, and both are in stock. All yeah. sizes in stock on the sleeveless hoodies. Man. Yeah. And uh, the Team J belts are back in all sizes. The lifting belts in all sizes. Yeah. Stru stupidly popular, them lifting belts, man. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Nick. It's so a new products. We got the yes. Dust V2 and a pineapple. Yes. If you like it, needs to tie as pineapple, and you do because it's the tits. Uh, Dust V2 pineapple tastes almost identical. Yep. Uh, Team Day Grey Zip Up Hoodies. I would say, still not as good as Cotton Candy Dust V2. No, definitely not. My personal opinion, Cotton Candy Dust V2, the best tasting pre-workout we have seen thus far. Blackstone Labs have come through with some good flavours. Amazing. But still good. Alright. Uh, Team Day Grey Zip Up Hoodies are now, ah. now in stock. So ah. obviously you got the black, now you got the grey. Dillip, throw up, throw up the launch image uh, featuring the, the, the greenies back. Yep. Josh Green, what a hunk of a man. Oh. Those grey zip up hoodies, you guys have been waiting for them for a while. They're now finally in stock in all sizes and they're amazing. And if you get them, you know what that means. You can rock the grey on grey with the grey cuff trackies too. Let's just say, Josh Green... All grey everything. Josh Green is pretty much the epitome of ladies man. Oh, he is. I don't know his Instagram handle is. Jake. I've never seen a dude have more followers on Tinder. Than, than Greenie's The back. thing is, is every, yeah, so Greenie, Greenie fell in love for a while. Yeah, yeah. The girl didn't love him back and she broke his heart. I won't go into the story. She broke his heart though, the poor little fella. So hashtag, Greenie, Green, hashtag Greenie's back yeah. is out there. Last count, he was at 114 <laughs> matches on Tinder. So he is talking to 114 <laughs> girls at once. If you can't, can, if you... He's like a Tinder grandmaster, isn't he? The poor can't organise a route in a brothel at the moment, but he's talking to 114. <laughs> he's got a lot of options. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, move along. <coughs> Alright, coming soon. So we hold, got on, a, hold on, you missed something. Oh, Team J Elite Shakers. Boom! The so clean <coughs> new Elite Shakers. We should actually, you, you know, gra no, get, grab no, one. No, 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 you got to grab one. you got to grab one. Dillip can, he can time lapse or some shit. Go grab one. Look at these f***ing shakers, man. Look at these shakers. They are clean as f***. Are they not clean as f***? They are. So it's, it's standard Team Massive Joe's, like I've got, I've got a, an OG here, a worn out OG. So standard Team Massive Joe's, the same size, same bl uh, with the blender ball in there, same design and shit, you can see in the middle there. Same everything. But the main difference is firstly, they now come in red. Mm -hmm. And secondly, the lids, we've changed the lids on them. So check this out, man. So you got, I need some zoom and focus action on this shit right here. So you got the, the can you guys see that? Zoom, mother i got to go closer. There it is. You see the embossed TMJ on the lid on both sides. So you got it on that side, you got it on that side. And look at that little handle, adjustable flip top handle and shit. Amazing. I think it's useless. No, it's actually not. You do, you do think it's useless. I don't know. But until I, you I'll start honest, using honest, it, you will never it. grab a shaker like this ever again. You will from now on grab shakers like that. 
Hang on here. I no need, shit. I need to put it through tried and tested. No, you do. You need to try them. And available in three colours. So the red with the red and the white lid, uh, the clear with the black and the red lid, and the black with the red and the black lid. <laughs> amazing. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Why oh, did, and I might mention. Why did you go still, red? And, why did you go red and red lid? Still only nine ninety five. Well, they called elite, AUD. not performance. Elite shaker. Nine ninety five. Still same price. Why did All you those go? added features, same price, Nick. That, that, That's people's company type shit. That right added there. handle did not cost you an extra cent. No, it, it, obviously they cost us more to make. No, it but didn't cost the consumer keep, an extra cent though. No, it cost the consumer same price. Yeah. Why did you Amazing. go the red and the red? Why didn't you go red with a black lid? Or well, something? the thing is, is when you get all three of them, and everybody will, you can need to change the lid. So you can have whatever color you want. To be honest, you got three different color variations. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Okay. <laughs> uh, monthly specials. No. <laughs> No! Oh, coming soon. You can't follow a script coming if soon. your life depended <laughs> on it. When has my life? Shit. When has my life ever gone to script, mate? Like, never, mate. Never. All right. Coming, coming soon. Coming soon. So we got the TMJ pullover hoodies. Yeah, these are cool. Dilip, go ahead and uh, and throw up the the mock-ups <laughs> of these. These. So these are going to replace the the Team Massive Joe's performance hoodies that we used to do in the red and the black. There's still a few of those left. They're on um, uh, discount at the moment if you yeah. want to grab them online. Uh, but these are going to replace them. So they're all new, new design, better quality, custom TMJ, everything. Going to be available in black and grey, and they're amazing. Yep. Yeah. Move along. Uh, yeah, buddy, pre-workout. Yeah, we're, a bit of a delay on this one. It's been taking a while to come in. It should be here next week. It's on And yeah. the Optimal Nutrition Fat Burner. No. It's, it's on here. No. When? ETA? Uh, I've asked Dino yeah. whenever he comes in, and he yeah. keeps telling me it's on the water. I, last time I spoke to Dino about it, he said it was uh, it, it was arriving the same time as BSN's test booster. Ooh. Imagine them combined in one drink. What, could you imagine? You burn fat and gain muscle at the same time, and support Owen and BSN. God damn! Bloody Supplement hell. game over. But they've also scheduled in seven new flavors of amino energy first, though. So we have to wait for the seven new flavors to seven come. Seven flavors of amino energy and four new sizes have gone stand away. Yeah. They're going to go the, uh, the, the four pound tub, yep. uh, the six pound tub, yep. and the seven pound bag. Yeah. And make probably six new flavors of the chocolate variation. Yes. <laughs> I hear it's going to be a Dutch chocolate. <laughs> Oh shit, next topic of discussion, dude. Uh, monthly specials. Ah! Dylan, throw them up! Throw the July monthly specials up on this motherfucker, man. Neve, I say this every month, but <laughs> this month I really mean it. These are the 12 best specials we've seen thus far. Which one's your favourite, man? Pick one. Uh, Pick one as your favourite. I'm going to say, yeah. I, I'm a big fan, obviously, of ATP. So I, you, yeah. can't, you can't go past a drop stack, get a free AMV worth $59.95. It's ridiculous. Because you're already getting the Alcapure for half price. Yeah. If you were to buy them individually, it would cost you $170. Yeah. No, yeah, what, no more $180. Than that. $180. $180. And you get it for 100 bucks. So it's almost saving 50%. Pretty it's much. it's 40 it, uh, Man, the specials this month, the, the, the ever popular uh, Amino Energy Twin Pack by the 2 for 50 is back. That's definitely been our most popular special ever, I think. The all new Gold Standard Stack is back with the Gold Standard Whey, Gold Standard Pre, Gold Standard BCA. Free MTS hat with every tub of MTS Whey? <laughs> Some people are going to get a collection. The core shirt. Barney, have, Barney will have like 17. I, I, where, do you, where do you start? CEO Joe Stack's back, King Stack's back. <coughs> It's like we've gone and we've taken like all of our best specials ever and put them in this month and then added even better specials on top. Boom. This is amazing. Next topic of discussion, Nick. All right, so Chris Betta yes. has made a new article, How to Make Gains During Football Season. Yes. So, I mean, this, uh, the article, well, we got it obviously from the AFL footballers, Australian rules football here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in Australia, because obviously that is our national sport, I'll say. Correct. Um, it's a sport that most people play. And a lot of footballers, I guess it's, I don't know what it's like for the American football and those kind of yeah. sports. But with AFL football, obviously you have an off season. Yeah. And there's a lot of emphasis on both weight training and, and cardiovascular fitness. Correct. During preseason training. Getting in, getting in shape. Obviously, by the time the season rolls around and they get yeah. into actually playing games, mm. Um, the weight training obviously backs right off, yeah. and a lot of people who have made harder and have have built harder muscle uh, over the preseason, yeah. obviously lose a lot of that uh, that muscle. So yeah, 
It's how to make gains, but also how to keep Well, it's, it's actually the top 10 tips, mm. as a matter of fact, of how to, how to maintain the gains and even make gains during <coughs> season. But the, thing, and we've but said, the thing is, is it doesn't just have to be obviously Australian rules football. That's what be, I was about to say. It can be any sport. We've called it the top 10 tips to make gains during footy season, but it applies to any performance sport. I remember when I used to play basketball, same thing for me. We used to have a long ass season and like a three month off season and you try and make as many gains as you could in the three month off season because you knew when the season was going to run around. Zero gains. Well, I remember during when no I no gains when I played AFL football when I was like seventeen or eighteen. Yeah. By the time the end of like pre like the end of our off season where I just focused on weights, I was used to be about eighty six kilos. Yeah. Um, which I mean, it's twenty something kilos lighter than I am now, but I was yeah, eighty six yeah. kilos at my heaviest. Yes. By the time pre season had finished and I'd finished my running program, mm. I was seventy two kilos. Yeah. So I'd lose like 14 kilos over the space of not good three months. And then, not good. Then my playing weight was about 76 kilograms. Yeah. So, I mean, look at that. Um, so, I mean, I was 10 kilos lighter while I was still running around than what yeah. I was during preseason yeah. at the end of my weights program. So. Anyway, links in the description box. Go check it out. It's a very well-written, very insightful article from uh, Team Master Joe's Business Development Manager, Kristen. Yep. Next topic of discussion is... Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Big Neve. We've got, we've got, we've got a shitload of questions. How long do you want this segment to go for? Because if we go through all the questions, it's gonna go for like two hours. Like uh, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yep. So I'm just gonna go through questions. At twenty minutes, we're gonna stop. Yep. And we'll answer the rest of them next. We'll week. try and try and read through them pretty quickly. Yeah, but you always do rapid fire. You never rapid fire shit. Paz Vida wants to know, hey fellas, whenever I train chest, I feel as though my arms are what fatigue rather than my chest causing me to fail. I can always feel that my chest has been worked the day after as it is sore, but when I'm actually training it, I never really feel the contractions as much as I do when training my other muscle groups. Any idea on why this happens and what I could do to start feeling it more in my chest? Thanks, guys. Um, if it's chest specifically, mm. um, number one, you need to make sure you're getting that mind-muscle connection. Yeah. So you might want to drop that weight down a little bit. Yeah. The other thing you could do as well is just to take a bit of emphasis off the triceps is not fully lock out at the top of each rep. Correct. If you're doing like chest, for example, if you're saying your arms are fatiguing, it's not your biceps because you don't press with your biceps. Yeah. It's your triceps that are assisting. So a lot of people, like the lower half of the movement, you might only want to do like half reps, but don't do top half reps, do bottom half reps or two third reps yeah. from the chest almost to lock out, don't quite lock out and just keep that constant tension in your chest. And I'm sure yeah. you'll feel a lot more than... Uh, yeah, if you're locking out at the top of each one. 100%. Patrick Dears wants to know, Good day, Big Nevos. I'm back with more dumb powerlifting questions. Recently, while squatting, I've been getting a lot of pop from the halfway point of the motion and the bar is jumping a bit off my traps. But my issue is I have the power at the midpoint, but not in the hole. Other than pause squats, what could you suggest for more power off the bottom? Um... From the bottom, That's a good question. From the bottom, I mean, it's a lot of like hip drive, mm. leg drive. I mean, it's everything just activating at once. Yeah. I mean, off the bottom, I find box squats oh, really help yeah. me. Yeah. Um, I find that really deep leg press. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a traditional powerlifter, so don't don't. You're doing accessory movements, man. Yeah. If you take me to a powerlifting gym, I'll laugh that because I'll ask where. The what about like using some, What about using something like chains? Um, no, not chains. <coughs> something that adds more resistance at the bottom. Yeah, you could do bands from... Bands, that's what I'm thinking. I know f all about powerlifting, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where is it going to... Yeah, you could use bands and stuff, but I mean, it, it's it's definitely to do with like a muscle... I mean, obviously, if you if, when you're locking out, it's obviously a lot of quads and a lot of like that kind of movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Whereas the bottom is more like hammies and hammies glutes, and right? glutes and hips and stuff. So yeah. I'd, I'd really work on your box squats and yeah. just real deep, deep leg press as well. Yeah. With a bit of a pause at the bottom. Lewis Hughesy Hughes wants to know, hey lads, episode 95, hot tip Nevosh. Friends, season one was realised in 1995 with your lovely lady, Rachel. Yep. Jennifer Anastanopoulos. Yep. Did you know that's her real last name? It's not. No, it is. It's actually a true story. And <coughs> viewers, if you're watching, back me up in the comments. Her last name is Anastanopoulos, being Greek, obviously, but changed it to Aniston because she was uh, finding it hard to get work in the film industry with a Greek last name. There you go. True story. Uh, my question is about artificial sweeteners. Yeah. Can you tell us which are the ones to avoid and which are good? 
I've heard some can give you insulin spikes and some don't. Is this true? Thanks and stay massive. I'll be honest, Lewis. I've got, I've got no idea. Really? No, I'm not good with artificial sweeteners and shit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think it's all made up. I, I Lewis, I... Her name isn't, it's Jennifer Joanna Aniston. No, her last name is Anistonopoulos. No one's search for Aniston, search for <laughs> Anistonopoulos. Do it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> serious. Put it in Google, <laughs> mother it's Aniston was born in there. Sherman Oaks, the daughter of actor John Aniston <coughs> and no. actress Nancy Dow. No, Anistonopoulos. His name is f***ing... it's not. It is, Google it. I'm serious. Anyway, while you're doing that, I'll get back to Lewis. Lewis, born um... Giannis Anastas... Anastas... Anastasakis. Yeah, that's what I meant. Born Giannis Anastasakis. That's, but, that's, but his, what, I, that's what I meant. But her dad changed his... his dad... Her dad changed his name to Aniston. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. It but was she didn't Greek change her, She didn't change her name to Aniston. No, but you can't f***ing change your last name, mate. It's the same. I apologize, Lewis. Jerry has ruined your question. No, it, it's true. <coughs> All right, I'll answer Lewis's question. I've got Lewis. I've forgotten the question. No, it's about the artificial, artificial, artificial sweeteners. sweeteners. I don't. I don't believe in it. I in think what? In artificial sweeteners. You don't believe in them. I don't believe there's the health benefits or health. Like, mate, it's not. Like, it's not like the Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, <coughs> mate. You don't choose to believe or not believe they exist. <coughs> I think it's made up, like fucking chemtrails. What are you talking about? You're making no sense. Help uh, Lewis out. No, I'm serious. Yeah. I don't think they make an issue. I don't think they make a difference. To what? To like insulin spike and all that kind of stuff. No, of course they don't because they're not a <coughs> carbohydrate. Mm. But do you really think that they adverse, like have the health effects that people are reporting? No, I don't. So what, so what do we, what's the issue with them then? Lewis, don't worry about artificial sweeteners, man. Go with which ones you like the taste of. Well, no, but what, what? Like, that's what I'm saying is I yeah. don't believe there's an issue with them. No, I don't think there's an issue with them so either. So we're agreeing. That's what I'm saying. I think that people are f***ing making an issue of them like they do with f***ing chemtrails okay. and shit like that. I see what you're saying. I, I think that it's something just to scare people like f***ing It's a scare tactic. Like fucking Coke Zero f***ing gives cancer and spraying yourself with deodorant f***ing causes cancer. I think it's just another thing that people are bringing up just to f***ing, like the Red Powerade. There was one when I was growing up, the Red mm. Powerade gave you cancer. Did you hear that one? No. At my school, Red Powerade gave you cancer. Really? It's just one of those things I think that f***ing people are making up. And yeah. I think it's the same thing that's going on. I'm sure we'll, I'll get f***ing abused in the comment section. and everyone will argue and say, you'll get the f***ing mad scientists that f***ing go and give a million research doc points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give a f***. I'll drink my f***ing Pepsi Max. <laughs> I'll drink my f***ing You like, don't like it? F***ing it. There's f***ing a million other things that are going to- Lee f Rush! No, no, there's a million other things that are going to f***ing kill me. That's true. Before f***ing the artificial sweetener in my f***ing coffee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. Lee Rushworth Clays wants to know, Hey guys, during your off season, do you still use a fat burner when doing your morning cardio and do you cycle off them? I always use a fat burner. Yep. Um, yeah, all year round I use a fat burner. Yep. And I don't cycle off them. I'll change up what one I'm using. Yeah. Probably day to day I'll swap up what one I'm using. Yeah. Um, obviously if I'm testing one, I'll use it for a lengthy period of time to see yeah, yeah, yeah. if there's a benefit or yeah. no benefit. But I mean, even in the kitchen at the moment, we, I just had, I just, that's why I drank the same was a drop factor uh, mango. You're not here to f are you, mate? That's why I got. That's why I wanted to make sure that I was informative for everyone. I wanted to make yeah, sure yeah. I was wide awake. Yeah. But my clicking was on point if I need to click. Hey, clicking special. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, it, we got like an open oxygen. We got an open drop factor. We got a. We got all the open shit burn. at MJHQ, man. So I mean, it's it's yeah. I just change up what one I'm using each day. I don't yeah. cycle off them. Yeah. Dev Bagani wants to know, hey fellas, appreciate the advice on my training split. Could you both share your thoughts on maltodextrin? I know Big Nebosh doesn't mind it, but the CEO Joe refers to it as a cheap filler. What about it being used as a meal replacement mass gainer and a post-workout formula like core PWO? Your thoughts and I'll give my thoughts. Um, yeah, obviously there's a lot of better carbs out there. Much um, better I mean, you, you look at people like what Mark... And Much better! Carbs. Like what Mark and Doug are bringing out, like yeah. your brown rice powder and your sweet yep. potato powder. Mm -hmm. and you're getting an avocado, I mean, that's fat, but you know what I'm saying, is you're mm -hmm. getting a lot of whole food sources in powder form. Yes. So obviously they're going to be a lot better in terms of a meal replacement kind of um, carbohydrate especially. Yes. Um, I use infrared. I mean, it, yeah. Tell us the truth, Neve. No, I enjoy, I, I love Tell us the as, truth, as Neve. In terms of carbohydrate. It this is for death. It doesn't, wants to know. it doesn't sit in my stomach while, while I'm Thank training. You. Correct. But then, and why doesn't it sit in your stomach well? 
because of cheap carb. Because it's just shit carbohydrate. But it doesn't sit in my stomach well, meaning I have to go to the toilet halfway through the thing session, which isn't good. Yeah. And you always put me on Snapchat. Yes. Where's me found? Disappeared for 10, 15 minutes it's off to the 10, bathroom. Minutes. Having a take. shank. Yeah, well, the shit takes me about 30 seconds. <laughs> the wank's about 8 minutes 30. <laughs> <laughs> you sure it's not the other way around, mate? Yeah, it probably is at the moment. <coughs> um, Tess is a bit high at the moment. <laughs> um, where are we going? Oh yeah, but 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 then again, intra workout, all carbs. Yeah. I don't really like. I'm not. A, I take them, but I'm not a fan of carbs in your yeah. workout, just because even with like your carbolin or, or your your high citri, so what's it called? High cyclic branch. Highly cyclic branch dextrin is the ultimate intra workout carbohydrate. I yes. believe. Yes. Yes. Because it doesn't sit heavy in my stomach, whereas carbolin on that day is multidextrin and just goes through me. Yeah. Dev, you know my thoughts, man. I think it's a shit carbohydrate. <coughs> and I speak And honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I get a lot of shit on YouTube because apparently these days I'm a mouthpiece for Doug Miller and all I do is suck on Doug's balls with raw reviews. But I would say it needs to get out of core PWO. Seriously, it does. Mm. What the f- is it in core PWO for? Core PWO, we don't have it in Australia yet. We will at some point. The carbohydrate is a blend of dextrose and maltodextrin. Obviously, PWO being used for post-workout. Why is there maltodextrin in there when you've got dextrose, yeah. which is the, the ideal carb for post-workout use? Mm. I fucking hate maltodextrin, man. You already know that, though. Because I say it in videos and Snapchat and everywhere. Not a big fan. Yeah. Damien McPartland wants to know, hey, Big Nevos, what's the best way to close the gap in the lower pec? Um, you can't really, man. I mean, pe- pecs are... It's, it's an insertion point, yeah, man. And pe- yeah, and pecs are... Yeah. What's the word? I don't know. You can't just build extra muscle somewhere. That's what I'm saying. Like well, that. you can't change where your muscles insert. Insertion points are genetic. So if you, genetic, if that's the word. Yeah, if you have, if your pec insertion points down the bottom are like six inches apart, there's nothing you can do to change change that. We got um, uh, one of the guys that works for us, Red Jesus, yeah. has his pecs like all the way down, like insert, and there's like an inch gap between them. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about that. That's one just the way pecs, the muscle is. Shaped. One of my pecs insert. Like this one inserts like is like a perfect peck. Yeah. And this one here like cuts off. Drops off. off. Like, I'm, yeah. miss, I'm missing like someone's cut the f-ing corner off it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's, it, I can't. I can't just do extra. F-ing no. It's bottom just reps genetics, on my right. You can't do anything about it. In. It's, it's just about yeah, the muscles. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Ka- Cameron Corwin wants to know. Hey guys, coming to you from Kansas. You Kansas City, Missouri. You three questions. Yeah, because I'm trying. We got. You said 20 minutes, man. Kansas City, Missouri. Wondering if you guys are ever going to be interested in opening a massive Joe's store here in the US of A. Thanks, guys. You help me keep focused and stay massive. Uh, no, not at this stage. Not at this stage. We got a lot of work to do in Australia first, man. Mm. Stores in Australia. Yeah. Website in Australia. Yeah. And no. then honestly, we'd probably go to New Zealand next. If we were to get into or, or, or probably, Thailand. Probably Asia. No, Thailand. Really? Thailand. Uh, Thailand is in Asia. I'm, yeah, because I'll, I'll be store manager in Thailand. Yeah, Big Steve-O wants to know, what up you very big boys? Cheers for asking my questions. I took your advice and cut the exercises that weren't really working out and replaced them with my alternative ones. And I'm happy to say after doing that, I've managed to slay my PBs. My question for you, Big Neve, as you are the far superior one out of you and Joe in this department, my chest is by far the weakest area of my body. Would it be beneficial if I train it in the morning before work and in the arbo after work to try keep up with the rest of the gains of the rest of my body? Cheers and keep up the good work, boys, and stay massive. Uh, definitely not. If you're training um, chest properly, yeah. you shouldn't be able to hit it for at least another three to four days. Yeah, no so shit. There's no way if you're hitting it correctly in the morning, you've got to follow up and hit a, like, enough uh, intensity and volume yeah. as what you'd be able to. Um, if, if you're worried, you do what Joe does and Joe's been hitting his chest twice a week. Yeah, separated by three days though. So Monday, Thursday, Yeah. Joe hits his chest. Um, yeah. I mean, I hit my arms Thursday, Sunday now. Yeah. So it's that, then because they're, they're both weak body parts. Yeah. But yeah, definitely don't hit it like twice a day like that. No. Um, Look at it, I mean, yeah, increase your volume perhaps. Look at hitting like six exercises. If you're hitting five exercises, like do, yeah. make sure you're hitting both. Like make sure you're hitting decline, incline, flat. Yeah. Make sure you're doing flies. Make sure you're doing presses. Make sure you're doing dips. 
I think that for us, dips has been a, a massive... Dips has been phenomenal for that long. My lower chest has exploded and from yeah. dips. And I, I, I definitely think that from in the last six months, mm. that's probably the exercise that you and I have both seen the most amount of change from is doing yeah. dips. I'm going to put it out there. Well, because it's one that we've neglected and the boy never used to do dips. Yeah. Didn't for triceps, but never for chest. But def- never. But definitely. Never I've with the bottom half focus on a chest. Definitely. I don't think enough. Never. I don't think enough never people are doing heavy weighted dips on, on chest day. Yeah. I think it's And like Jake does it. Yep. Jake's got a phenomenal chest. I f- the best chest we've seen thus far. Goes phenomenal. As far as I say. Phenomenal. Tyler Cooper. No, ty- no, that was, I put an X next to that. He just wants to know if you've heard a song from Eminem. That's not really a question. Sean Golding wants to know, hello, you've heard a big boy. Sorry for the long question, but I know you fellas hate the questions with incomplete info. I just want to say, Tyler, I have heard that song. I'm just wondering with regards to calories in versus calories out, is there a time frame that should be considered? Oh, this Sean's a smart mother right here. For example, say maintenance calories are 3,200 and someone ate at a 500 calorie surplus, 3,700, six days a week and on the seventh day fasted and consumed zero calories. Would this person lose weight over the seven days are they, as they are in an overall caloric deficit? Or are there other factors like metabolic rate and time constraints that would mean six days in a surplus and then one not would mean they'd actually gain weight? Much love from Melbourne. To me, I, to me, I personally run my calories in a 24 hour period. Yes. Um, I know that Joe does his fasting and stuff like that. Um, 24 hours makes the most sense, Sean. Yeah. And the reason for it is because of the different metabolic processes that happen on a 24 hour basis. Hormone, uh, secretion as well. Everything ha- like rotates on a 20, 20- we- we- humans live, we live on a 24 hour basis. That's our routine. That being said, and you have quoted this a number of times when talking about dieting, mm. so the opposite of what Sean's saying, if you're in a 500 calorie deficit for six days and then you go and have a blowout day and have a massive cheat day mm. and push yourself into like a 10,000 calorie surplus, you will put on weight. Yeah. There's no, there's no two ways about it. So the best way to think about it is on a 24 hour, like day by day basis, but you should also look at it on a week long basis as well, because <coughs> it, 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 they do add up. So that's why the thing is, if I'm eating a cheat meal on a Saturday night, yeah. or a Sunday, for example, yeah. Sunday afternoon, yeah. I'll take that into uh, account with, yes. the, with the remainder of my meals throughout the day. Correct. So if my meals generally consist of say a thousand, I, I hit about five meals with a thousand calories each meal. Yes. Oh yeah, about like give or take. Mm-hmm. Um, so the thing is, if if I'm going to be no, I'm going to be eating a large pizza and a tub of Ben and Jerry's, and yeah. that's going to get me like three thousand calories. Yeah. Well, I'll replace. I'll take out like three of my meals and replace that with my cheat meal. Yeah. So I'll have like two like breakfast, like have my first meal, have my second meal at midday. Yeah. Then I might not eat until say five o'clock at night or whatever, and then have mm. my cheat meal and Ben and Jerry's for that. And I'm still mm. only consuming five thousand calories. That's right. But I'm not consuming that three thousand calorie cheat meal in addition to my other meals. Yeah. My question to you is, Sean, is this situation should never really happen to be honest? Mm. Because why is that seventh day? Are you just f-ing neglecting everything that you've done for the rest of the week? That's it's the like, big it's issue. Like, it's yeah. like people that train and diet during the week and then go out on a Saturday night and drink and make piss, zero gains and piss the and yeah. just drink their fucking body weight and alcohol yeah. and then wonder why Monday comes around. I mean, that's what I used to do. I'm sure you used to do that at one point in your life as well. Mm, not really, no. You never went out and drank? Not really, no. I was always playing basketball, man, when I was younger. Even 1920? Well, okay. No, that's me. when I was playing basketball well, I'd and then moved straight into bodybuilding i'd finished by then so yeah. i used to go well, so i used to go out and i used to make good gains yeah i mean i was at a consistent level i could, yeah. I could bench the 50s for 10 reps and stuff but like i was very strong at my age for like, like 20. the thing is i was never progressing you've been to, doing for the last six years mate. exactly <laughs> well i've put like 25 kilos on but um my strength hasn't gone up but the thing is is yeah is i was i was at a i was at that constant level i built yeah. up to that 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 level, yeah. let's just say level eight, yeah. but I was never getting up to that next level. The next level. Because, never I, was always, the next because level. I was always like going and drinking on a Saturday night yeah. or and then eating Subway and just eating whatever on a Sunday. Stephen Chisnell, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Stephen Chisnell wants to know, hey guys, I was just wondering what your opinion was on medium intensity steady state cardio, such as jogging. I, 
a silent J. <laughs> so I feel like we always hear about hit and lisp, but never medium intensity. I feel like it should be better for cutting since you expend more calories than when doing lisp. Just trying to get the most out of my cardio during my cut. Thanks and stay massive from Canada. <coughs> the thing is about um, your fuel sources. Yes. So um, yeah, you, you start you start eating into muscle tissue and and that kind of stuff when you yeah. when you're doing medium intensity when you're doing low intensity steady state. Yes. Um, yeah, you, you're not you're not tapping into you're tapping into different fuel sources for your energy. Tissue. Well, you are, and I'll be honest with you, Stephen. Coming into leading coming into competitions, whenever you see me using the devil staircase as opposed to like walking outside. The devil's staircase is medium intensity steady state. Hmm. So I really, like I'm 12 weeks out from the state show now, 15 weeks out from the pro qualifier, I will actually now start phasing out your standard list, which is like brisk walking, <coughs> and phase in the devil's staircase, aka the stairmaster, which is medium intensity steady state. Hmm. So, But I just want to yeah. say as well, is for somebody like myself now, yeah. I would never jog again. No, for the but for the for the factor of like my knees. Yeah, I mean this amount of force. That Too goes much through, mass. No, but the amount of force that goes through my knees. It, Too much. It hurts my knees. Jogging for a, yeah. for a minute. Blair Fraser, our good man from Scotland, wants to know what's up, Joe and Neve athlete. How are you guys? In the last year and a half, I have lost four stone. Blair, what the f man? Blair, we met. They you. did. You did this shit to us at body power in the UK start talking bloody stones and imperial and Blair, and bullshit. We don't know what the f stone is. Blair, you've seen Team Day in the UK. We don't fucking understand. Hold on. I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm, I apologise to the viewers. This is Blair. I suggest you rip him a new one in the comments section. Stones to kgs. Alright. I'm going to convert this shit. Four stone. Alright. I've lost. Okay. So four stone is 25 and a half kilograms, viewers at home. Let's start again. <coughs> Blair Fraser wants to know, in the last year and a half, I have lost over 25 kilograms in weight and gained some muscle doing cardio, weight training and a low carb, high protein diet. When doing this, I was having my carbs pre and post workout. That worked great, but for around the last four months, I found it difficult to shift any more weight and see any changes in how I look. Within the last month, I have tried having only one carb meal post-workout. This works great. I, I lost six pounds in seven days, three kilos, yeah. in a week. Uh, but the diet was not sustainable as I just wanted to cheat all the time because my energy was so low. Do you guys have any recommendations on what I should do to blast through the plateau? My daily routine is half an hour fasted walk every morning, weight train in the afternoon at the gym, followed by one hour of interval training on the cardio equipment. Then at night, I walk outside for around 45 minutes. Cheers, guys, and stay massive. That's a lot of cardio, Blair. Yeah, I mean, Blair, you seem to be doing a lot of cardio and a You're lot of- You're doing like weight. two hours of cardio, over two hours of cardio a day. And a lot of weight training with like one meal of carbohydrates. Yeah, man. I'd, I'd say you're definitely under eating carbohydrates. Well, this is, this is the, it depends where your calories are at, Blair, because you, you really don't have too much more you can do with cardio because you're doing so much. Uh, we need to know where your calories are to see, because it's calories in versus calories out. Whenever you hit a plateau, you need to do something to bust through it. So if you've got room to reduce your calories further than they currently are, that would be one thing you could try. If you don't have room, the next thing you'd want to start doing is carb cycling, brother. Mm. So if you're having, if you're, if you're doing that much cardio and your calories are quite low, let's say, uh, you don't say how much you weigh, but we've met you before. I'd say if your calories were less than probably 2,500, you probably like really don't have anywhere to go. Mm. Would you agree? Yeah. You'd need to start carb cycling because what's happening now is there's hormone responses going in your body that are sending your body into starvation mode. And the problem is as well, man, is you don't want to have to rely on doing two hours of cardio every single day. Yeah. For the every single day, day in, day out, just yeah. to sit at the body fat or just to lose weight. That's it. I mean, if anything, you want to try and get your diet working to, to favor yourself so that you'll be, so be able to start <coughs> almost losing fat yeah. as, as you can do and, yeah. and I can do now. Yeah. Is, is lose weight just by calorie manipulation. That's it. Rather than looking at having to do two hours worth of cardio a day. 100%. So I would try those two things, man. If your calories are not under 2,500, you may be able to reduce your caloric intake, but then carb cycling is the next thing for you. Um, once you've done that, when you hit another plateau, it's 
time to start reverse dieting, brother. Yeah. You Get definitely don't want to go up. too low, man. Especially if you start feeling real shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is one. This I don't know. Have I? I don't know if I said this in weekly word. Anyway. Yeah. I know we. I've gone. I'm going to put this as short and quick as possible. Yeah, yeah. But the thing with I was doing is everyone knows, and I've said this many times, is I was doing carbs pre and post workout. Only. Yes, 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 yes. The problem is, is during the day, mm. I was, and you'll account for this. I was useless. useless. To be honest, I was like when I, you weren't when you weren't drinking f-ing stimulants twenty four seven, trying to stay away. When you weren't hooked up to a caffeine IV, yeah, useless. Yeah. So the thing is, is, is for me, in terms of my job, yeah, and I'll, I'll be the first to admit, I was f-ing terrible because all I wanted to do was f-ing sleep. Sleep. And I, I f-ing wasn't productive because yeah. I was I was drained. Yeah. All my energy was pretty much f-ing in starvation or in f-ing survival mode until. That's- Training went around. I'd throw in milligrams of caffeine. I could train for an hour, and yeah. then that was about it. Yeah. The thing is, is I've readjusted my diet now. Yeah. And I'm still consuming the same amount of ca- carbs, so still 450 grams of carbs. Yeah. But I space it over each meal equally. Yes. To be honest, I've put on a lot of weight, but mm. my body fat levels have gone down, mm. and I've got constant energy throughout the day. Ain't that interesting? So I mean, where for so long I've being afraid of carbohydrates yeah. and, and carbohydrate timing. I mean, yeah. trust me, the fuck, carbohydrate timing, I think, is essential um, for, for body fat manipulation. Mm. But yeah, it's just been interesting that recently, just trying it out with myself and, and trying new things, yeah. is that, yeah, changing those 400 grams of carbs instead of having like 300 grams pre-workout yeah. and 100 grams post-workout, yeah. Having 80 to 85 grams over five meals spaced out throughout the day, yeah. I really haven't noticed that much of a difference in body composition. There you go. So, so give, there you go. So bro. that's another a lot thing, of information for you. That's it. another thing, perhaps, to try as well. Yeah. Is, is keep your your, your carbs and, and your calories the same, and maybe look at for, just for a while, maybe just for two weeks. I mean, two weeks you can't do too much damage in two weeks. That's it. It's just, just see, see, what happens, see how you go. Just is putting maybe some of those carbs in for breakfast. Even I mean, don't go put, obviously putting it straight. You don't have to go to putting it into every meal straight away. Mm. But look at having it for breakfast, which is what you've always done. Yeah. Breakfast pre post. Intra, as well. Intra. So yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe look at going putting into breakfast next. See if that gives you a bit more uh, yeah energy throughout the day. Yeah. And I will just say finally, Blair, just on the <laughs> carb cycling, there's a real cool article on our website. Carb cycling. I think it's called Carb Cycling 101. And it goes through how to carb cycle. So go check that out, man. Last question coming from the big boy. The doctor. Barney Ong. Do you know Barney Ong? Yes. um, Passed his drug test, thankfully, last week. Yes, Barney Ong paid us a visit a couple of weeks ago. He did, yep. Came to ADL, come train with us. You guys would have seen it on the Snapchat. Yep. Follow Snapchat (laughs) at Massive Joe's, at Neve Movement. Yep. Um, but Barney yeah. wants to know. That big bong passed his drug test. He did. My brothers, my question this week comes in two parts. <laughs> Why does he always, he always he, you know, you, you, give him, you give him an inch, take three inches. <laughs> you give him a foot, takes a mile. I've got he always f-ing pushes it too far. I'm now a... he wants to ask two, you get the last question, Barney. You can't ask two f-ing questions. Well, Barney's used to give him three inches, so it was a no. <laughs> <laughs> you can just swap it up again. <coughs> All right. <coughs> just because it's you, Barney. Which upcoming products which you guys have tested are you most keen for the viewers to try? And which yet to be released product are you guys most excited to try? P.S. Thanks for being so hospitable during my visit there and for the two awesome yet brutal workouts. Cheers, guys. Truly the people's company. Well, firstly, Barney, you are most welcome, my man. It is always <coughs> our pleasure to have you in the ADL. Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, all right, first, first question. Which upcoming product that we have tried are we most keen for the viewers to try? I'm, I'm, I'm going, I tried it on Saturday. I was... <laughs> mm. I'm going to say Olympus Labs Conquer Unleash pre-workout. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome pre-workout. It's about how long? Like two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. Say so about it'll, two weeks away? It'll ship this week, so I'd say two weeks. Yeah, we air freighted it, because you guys, you need to try. I tried it for the first time on Saturday, and I was very impressed. Yeah. Very impressed. Yeah, Olympus Labs Conquer is definitely going to be the, I think it's, it's going to be the next biggest pre-workout. You reckon? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's very impressive, <coughs> so I would say that. Next question, which yet to be released product <coughs> are you guys, guys most excited to try? I've got, I've got a couple. I've got a couple. I would like to try 
a few of the Blackstone Labs products just because I'm really impressed with the products. No, yet to be there. released, man. Yeah, they have all at Massive Joe's? No, yet to be released like in general. Oh, how many do we know of those? What you, okay, I've, what do you think? I got all the insights. Like what? I, I, I'm going to say Core Test. Yeah. From Core Nutritionals. The, the new test booster from Core Nutritionals. Yeah. I would say I'm most... Uh, Core, see, Core have got a couple of... Pro I get the inside info from Doug Miller. So I know what Core's working on like all the time. And I know at the moment there's a few products. I'll give you guys two. I'll give you two. Core Test is the first one. I'm super excited to try that um, because it is... Like Barracuda is a test booster, most comprehensive test booster we've seen thus far. Mm. Core Test is coming in is like a new updated version of Barracuda with new updated ingredients, like bulbine natalensis, like laxagenin, uh, and methyl deaspartic. Uh, I did a lot of, it's um, gonna be epic. I did a lot of uh, research on laxagenin on the weekend. Yeah. As did you. Yes, I Looks did. Looks like a very interesting ingredient. Very interesting ingredient. And I would say the other product is another one from Core, their high stimulant pre-workout, which nobody knows about, except for you guys now. It's called Core Zap. Um, and I'm super excited to try that one too. So the thing is though, is that I find out about products as soon as companies send us samples really. Yeah. So I mean, there's Nebos really... doesn't have the inside hookups like CEO Joe does, you know what I mean? Well you and Doug, you f***ing <laughs> tongue Doug's asshole. so you <laughs> know everything. Apparently according to YouTube, I'm Doug's mouthpiece. <laughs> That's what I've been told. But um, yeah, so I mean the thing <clears> is, <throat> is I mean we get to, um, yeah, obviously we get to try a lot of stuff through Core and MTS that we work yeah. very closely with. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is as soon as products are really released, we get sent them pretty much straight away. Anyway, yeah. thankfully and, and uh, luckily and privilegedly. Mm. Privilegedly. But I see, I see where you're going with this yeah. question, Barney. And uh, rest assured, there are some cool shit coming, man. Yeah. Some real. That, that, I'm so excited for that Congo unleashed. I've been I working. Really I've been working on a lot of new products. I've been in communication with a lot of new products and companies lately. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't really haven't been seen in Australia as of late or ever. Got to do that earlier. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot of new products coming to Massive Joe's. Big knee boss. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No. Before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness on our YouTube channel. If they're watching on the mobile, big knee boss. Turn on the notifications button. You gotta turn the post notifications on, man. So you know what happens then? It pops up, it tells you when we upload a video. Pops up like, you don't miss a thing. Pops up like this. Yeah, just like, just like a Facebook notification. Yeah. Where we come to them from, Neve? MasterJoes.com.